everybody, good morning and welcome to Hospital De Casa Fred. Stalter. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. All I know is I'm not Nurse Ratchet today. I'm being a nice nurse today. And he's back there eating eggs with jelly on it. Go figure. Whatever. He can have whatever he wants. That's what I say. Anyway, uh, today's Thursday. We have family coming in tomorrow. Busy, busy next few days with family coming. Busy, busy next week. <laughs> I see an arm flying around in the background. I got a very nice nurse named Valerie. And this here is the Stalter Hospital located in Rayford. North Carolina. Okay. <laughs> there you have it. Out of the patient's mouth himself. Good morning, everybody. It's a pretty nice looking Thursday morning, and I am on my way to uh, Nikki and John's house to do some work there. Uh, I'm evidently going to give you another little story of uh, how when I was uh, hunting down in the farmlands and stuff, and I was going across the field towards my tree stand, and I just happened to look down and see a four-leaf clover. And so I picked it up, and I, and I put it in my wallet. It was supposed to be good luck. I figured, well, I'm going to get a good-sized deer today, you know, good hunting and whatever. So I continue on, I get over to my tree stand, and I start going up the ladder, and the ladder collapsed on me, and I went down, and I ended up out of work for, I don't know how many weeks, because my I fractured my ankle, or my heel, and I when I fell down, I kind of like passed out for a little bit, and then when I came through, I had to use my bow as a crutch to get all the way back to the car and go home. <laughs> and then go to the doctors and have it found out I fractured my heel. And so I will never pick up another four-leaf clover, <laughs> needless to say. <laughs> so in other words, four-leaf clovers are bad luck for you? For me, they were bad luck. Yeah. So for somebody well, else, they might be good. I don't know. Well, are you Irish at all? Huh? Are you Irish at all? Yeah, I think I got some in me, yeah. I got a little bit of everything in me. Yeah, you're what they call Heinz 57. Right, Heinz 57 variety. Yeah. I got a little of this, a little of that. Mo mostly I think I'm uh, uh, French, if you go by my real name. My real last name is French. Bossart? Bossart. No, but I don't want to get into that. <laughs> they are so much screwed up with the name, you know, whatever. <laughs> That's a whole nother story within itself. I can't even find information about my father. And, none and he was military. You would think there would be something somewhere. Yeah. Well, where he was supposed to have been born, I uh, went there to check the records, and then evidently they had a fire in that place, and lost all their records, or a lot of their records, the police station, everything they lost, or the town hall, I mean, they lost all the records. So, couldn't find that. Couldn't find nothing in the military, because that's where he died. Uh, and you think military would have records? So, I don't know. I tried everything, and then to nothing. Everything kept coming to a dead end. <laughs> yeah. So. It's a shame. So, maybe that was, of course, another four-leaf clover backfired on me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you guys missed me. Oh. <laughs> uh, Thor jumps into the truck, steps on the gas pedal, which I haven't put it in park yet. Almost sent me through the garage port. <laughs> Kevin's on the roof. Step one, remove satellite dish. Step, did you find another bolt in there? Yeah, there's a one on either side. Ah. Uh. So I can't get the ratchet underneath here. So. 
Ah, all right, well, we are hard at work here getting the job done. Oh. These are beautiful pictures up here. Where'd you get these? <laughs> yeah, a red fox and a elk. Where'd you get them? Uh, Where did you get them? Who gave them to you? I worked on that all night. Y you colored those yourself? Yeah, I did them all yeah. night. You did a very good job. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, being up shaky too. <laughs> and you didn't go outside the lines once. No. <laughs> All right, so we got our cut, our wood cut, and it's now been primed. It's ready to dry. We're gonna have some lunch, and um, then we're gonna try and put it all together. We've assembled our box. This is the box that the, uh, the satellite is going to uh, satellite dish is going to sit on, and. Uh, once we've uh, reinstalled that, we'll have to call up the satellite company yeah. and have them realign it. Well, we could give it a try. I'm sure they'll be thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go eat pizza. Can you say hi? Hi. See how big she's gotten? Say hi, the last time. community. Say hi, Belle. Hi. Can you blow a kiss? <laughs> Good job. We built this box so that the uh, uh, dish can, can be attached to the box. And it's a pretty heavy box, so we shouldn't have uh, much issues. Um, John uh, glued it up. We're going to put a piece of tar paper on top of it. And uh, he put my name on it. He put my name in this so that uh, if it falls apart, uh, they, know, know who did it. they know who did it. <laughs> no, I think we've done a good job here today. Yeah, I think so. I hope uh, it, should, it should not leak. It was a lot of work, but it wasn't... A lot more work than I anticipated. You know, it's yeah. kind of like the size of job I thought it'd be. Yeah. All right, I had to switch batteries. These little batteries die real quick. Uh, so this is it. This was our solution. We put in our uh, patch. We replaced the uh, the bad wood, and um, I made a box. And we made it as heavy as we could. It's made with four by fours and three quarter inch plywood. It's um, two by four wide plywood. So, um, it should take the wind. However, this thing is like a sail in the wind. So, a couple of cinder blocks put on top will help weigh it down. But they're going to have to call uh, DirecTV to get it aligned. We'll give it a try, you know, push it around a little. And, uh, but um, I, I think it might be a little more complicated than that. Hey there! How are you? Oh. I need you. I don't know. All right, guys. All right, Thor, I'm gonna have to go home. Doing squats? That's right, exercises. <laughs> One. She's so <laughs> Kenobi. Weird Kenobi. Where'd you go, Kenobi? There you are. Kenobi knows I'm leaving. Look at him. Oh. I sorry, Kenobi. I go home. I go home. I'll see you soon. Very soon. Go show, show Kevin the ball. Go show him to Kevin. Let me see the ball. Show it to Kevin. Wow. Wow, you threw it. Good wow. job. Yay. Great. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Yeah, it was good to see you. I, I know you usually spend more time with John when you're here chatting but it was still good to see you yeah let's see you okay so i am leaving nikki and john's right now and it's 5 30 which is the worst time in the world to be leaving from la i'm gonna be hitting uh traffic for sure big time so guys here we are at the end of another day and it's been a kind of a crazy day here we are getting the pain under control finally. However, <laughs> we are causing another issue. 
we are having problems with or my father is having problems with having bowel movements. He is not able to have any bowel movements. And uh, all of you know, or a lot of you may know, that the more pain medications you're on, the harder it is to have bowel movements. So we are having issues with that at this time. So that's the next thing we're working on right now, is trying to get his bowels moving. And because of that, he is now fighting me on taking his pain medication. So we're having a little bit of difficulty with that. <sighs> and I have to get up and leave here at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning to drive down to the airport in Raleigh, which is about an hour and a half to two hour drive to pick up my niece and her husband and their children tomorrow morning. So I have to get the pills broken out into cups so my mother knows exactly what to give him at what times tomorrow morning so that he gets his proper medication while I am not home here to do so and uh, yeah that's about it so uh, it's been an interesting day and I am exhausted and I have to get up extra early so I am going to call it a night so everybody it's St. Patrick's Day and the only thing I managed to do about that it was uh, wear green and uh, it was working today so uh, we weren't able to uh, have uh, corned beef and cabbage, although it's in the refrigerator. My mom's coming by on Sunday and we're gonna cook that up and we're gonna have a belated um, St. Patrick's Day. Now, you noticed that I have the credit roll going and some music, like it's a shout out. And it's not really a shout out, but I promised Haley Camel Girly that I was gonna put her in the credit roll and I forgot. So I'm rolling this just for you. So um, right now I'm going to just send it back over to Val and I will see you guys tomorrow. Boomer really wants to be in the picture, don't you? Come here, buddy. Ooh. So, see you later, right? I hope you enjoyed everything you saw and everything you saw back in California. And if you did, please give us a great big thumbs up. If you have not already done so, please press that little red subscribe button down below. And please double check if you are not, if you have been subscribed and you have found yourself unsubscribed, please resubscribe. And please share this video with your family and friends and everybody else that you may know. And we will see you guys.